Hey friends, it's Amy. Are you tired of me yet? Today is the 11th day of Christmas in our 12 days of Christmas contest. So we are in the home stretch. Tonight and tomorrow are the last two days of the 12 days of Christmas. And then on Thursday, we will draw the winner. So tonight, I thought it would be a ton of fun to go through my thrift store haul from today and show you what I look for. Maybe you guys can chime in with some of your favorite thrift store purchases or finds or techniques or stores. And then I'm going to show you the one item that I selected for our 12 days of Christmas giveaway for tonight. Michelle, listen, that is the cutest thing anyone has ever said to me via Facebook. And I appreciate that because I get sick of talking to myself on these videos. So today I uh, was out and about getting some things for our mini kitchen renovation. So Ron and I set out for the day. Um, I ditched him around two and I went to the Goodwill. And there's a Goodwill by me right down the street and I like to check in there maybe once a week if I have time. I like to just drop in there and walk around a little bit. Um, it's just fun for me. I don't go to any other thrift stores because I just don't have the time. We were actually by another Goodwill earlier today, but I was with Ron and he would absolutely not go in. So this one by my house I check out from time to time. I find that probably thrift store prices might be a little high, but I think it's fun to dig around and see what you can find. So let's go through my bags. I'll show you what I found. I'll show you what I look for and maybe you can chime in and let me know what you look for. So the first thing that I thought was adorable are these really cute wood bowls. So the thrift store by me is divided up into, you know, china, dishes, glassware, tin, wood, baskets, probably like yours. These were in the wood section. It's a set of three nesting bowls. They're round wood and they're kind of a mid-century, they are a mid-century modern set and they nest. So this one just a round bowl. This one says uh, pretzels and this one says peanuts. And this is just a great piece to find at the thrift store. This was four bucks and today was half off purple price tags. So for two bucks, I got this really cute snack set. I know, very swanky. And I know a couple people that love mid-century modern. So, I mean, this is perfect. This could be a gift. This could be something we would put in the store. But right now, I just love these and I would grab these types of things all day long when I see them. I didn't know anything about them, but I did know there was no marking on the bottom. And I also knew that my girl Vicky would be able to tell me what they were. So these are awesome. Look for this kind of stuff at the thrift store all day long. And I will tell you one more thing. You can also, during the holidays like this, you could, if you wanted to, give this as a hostess gift and put a little candy in there, wrap it up, and you're good to go. So that's haul number one. Let's see what else we have. Let's just bring the bag up here. I've got three bags. <laughs> spray foam. Don't use spray foam in my MCM bowls. Okay, so... I also love to look for glassware. Vicki hates that I collect the glassware, but I always like to have a variety of options for people to grab something small in the store. And also we're getting ready for our January Maker's Day and we're doing candle pours. And these types of things are great to pour candles in. Again, this was $3, half off today at the Goodwill on the purple tags. So it's $1.50, it's a Mikasa. It's nothing like it's a super vintage piece, but the colors are fun, the shape is fun and it's a nice substantial little pitcher so these would be great for pouring the candles in but they'd also be really cute on a bookshelf with just some seasonal greens in there adorable so always look out for something like this small little for some reason I love the pitchers I don't know creamers pitchers anything like this this is a great little piece all right let's see what else we got okay so I call this hobnail glass um, you guys, if you're smarter than me, may have something milk glass, hobnail glass. This was a creamer and a sugar. And again, I grab this stuff all the time so that we can put candles in it. Um, so there is a creamer in here somewhere. Babe, can you text Emily and let her know he's a men's small? Um, this is the creamer. Hobnail glass, adorable. There's this is the sugar. There's a creamer somewhere. Let me see if I can find it. Oh, I found it. This guy. 
Okay, so this makes an adorable set. Okay, so you could use this on your bathroom counter. You could use this on your vanity. You can put Q-tips in here, cotton balls. You could use any kind of storage. Again, two bucks each. I grabbed these so that our people would have a ton of options to pour candles, but you can find these types of items at thrift stores and stores like ours for two or three dollars and they make great home decor pieces. Right, yes, succulents, Rebecca. Right now you could put little mini trees in here or greens and it would just be a really great way to dress up your home decor. Now, let me see. Oh, I found this too. I don't technically really know what these are, um, but there's a bunch of, there was a whole stack of oval dishes like this. If you guys know specifically what these were for, let me know. I grabbed this one because I love the green and gold. It's got a little gold to it. And I like the curve. And the back of this one um, says Royal something or other England. So I know it's stamped. So I know it's a good piece. And I love these as spoon rests next to my stove. I have two of them. It's just a different way to use the vintage china and to add a little put relish dishes. See, Kathy, I knew you were smart, <laughs> grandparents' dentures. Um, I, I knew you guys were all smarter than me. I like to use mine as a spoon rest next to my um, stove. Yes, soap dishes, anything like this. So if you're out and about and something like this catches your eye, think outside the box and use it for whatever you want to use it for, but use the china. Oh, I see what you mean. So they would fit like this, right around in a circle. You're very smart, Kathy. Um, I love these, I grab them anytime. This was three bucks, well worth it. The colors are beautiful, it's in great shape, and it's stamped on the back, which I love. Okay, so keep going with my treasures. Um, let's see here. Oh, I found a set of these. Okay, so these, I'm telling you guys, Vicki is watching this and she's about ready to kill me because I'm bringing the china and she cannot stand managing the china. And I will tell you, if you're a shop owner, the biggest part of keeping your shop looking beautiful is management of the smalls, all these small things. And if you don't manage them, they were, um, they get out of control and she does great at managing it, but I keep bringing in all this stuff and she's going to kill me. So look at these, you guys, these are not marked. They are adorable. They've got this pale blue. They've got a silver band and silver accents. And then they have this branch motif and I found three of them and I had to have them. I'm sorry, Vicki. I had to have them $3 each. These again, gorgeous for candles, but they would be so cute in a bathroom with Q-tips, cotton balls, smalls of any kind. You could put this in your kitchen. You could put salt in there and store your kitchen table salt. These were so cute. So always look in the china. I think I spent about an hour at the Goodwill, which was a testament of my patience because it was crazy and the line was long. However, I spun around there about four or five times and found some really good things. Yes, yeah, Cindy, perfect. So set of three on a bookshelf with flowers or greens in them. Cindy, you're genius. This is adorable. Great idea. Um, I would. I bet you're probably right. I bet they were made in Japan. There are no stamps, but it is similar to China that I have seen like that. So I had to have these. These are beautiful. Okay, so let's keep going. I've got three bags. This is bag number one. You can come up. You won't be in. Okay. So we're also getting ready for our Maker's Day in that we're going to be making a bunch of pedestal plates that we made the other night live. So I was looking for pieces of china that would be really cool for that. Now I don't know why I love these. These were made in Germany. There were six. I only got three because they were three dollars each. But they're gold rimmed. And can you see that scene on there? I don't know why, but I loved these. I loved them. I feel like I'm screaming at you. Um, I love these. So these, I got three of, and they would be super cute as they are, 
but we will also use them for options of making the pedestal pieces, a cute little brass candlestick, and these would make a really great little pedestal piece. These were $3 each. They're marked made in Germany and I'm loving the gold accents. So I grabbed these as well, but you really got to dig. So just dig through all the plates and all the dishes and I'm sure you'll find some equally amazing things. But the key is to continue to go back and funny story. We've been cleaning out our basement over the past week and the kids have taken three truckloads of stuff to the Goodwill. And at the Goodwill today, I saw some of my stuff on the shelf. It's a little awkward. <laughs> it's a little awkward. Okay, then I grabbed these. These, again, are stamped Made in England Ironstone. Oh, now that I see their Ironstone, I think I'm going back for the rest. These are great. Okay, so these are Ironstone. These are silver. You see the silver pattern? And they've got a little bit of that swirly indentation. Again, these would be great for pedestal pieces or simply next to your kitchen sink with your soap dispenser and your kitchen sponge and your kitchen brush. So these are Snow White Regency Johnson Brothers Ironstone. I'll show you that little label. And I'm going to tell you, I don't really know anything about dishware or china. I just buy what I like and I think I have to go back and get the rest of these because I didn't know they were ironstone. Okay, that's bag number one. Are you guys enjoying this? Okay, so now I'm going to get more of the ironstone, Vicki. Thank you. Okay, let's get bag number two. All right, you want to say hi? Say hi. Don't be like Wilson. Come down here and say hi, my handsome. Down here, say hi. This is Handsome Henry. Just recording? Yes, it's live. Say hi. Oh, wait, wait. <laughs> no, it's live. Um, oh yeah, the stealing of the furniture, that's no good. All right, this is bag number two. And this, I walked by. I know, Vicki, now I feel like I have to go back there tonight. Okay, so this, again, not anything that I know about, but this is from Korea, I know that. It's a really great gold bowl with some tarnish on it, which makes it even more fabulous. I picked it up because it was so substantial and heavy, so that was really great. And we love our bowls and vessels to fill, and we probably won't polish this or anything, but I love that it was from Korea. I love the weight of it. And it's so cute. So look, Vicky, I knew Vicky would like it. Hey, Henry, do me a favor, babe. Come here. Yeah. Text a picture of this dish over to uh, Emily and ask her to go to the Goodwill and get me the rest of them. Okay. And then, Vicky, you're going to love this too. This guy. Text it to her and tell her to go get me the other stack. Okay, so look at this guy. This, I'm not even entirely sure what it is. Okay, so the bowl was six bucks, right? Six bucks. Okay, tell her there should be a stack of them in the china section. I got this little gold, again, so this is in the metal section of the Goodwill. Obviously it's broken up. This is in the metal section. There was this woman parked in her smart cart in front of the metal section for 15 minutes. But I stayed the course, I waited till she drove out of there, and I got some good stuff in the metal section. Hey, dog, basement. Come on, boy, come on. We have a runaway dog. I'm telling you, it's chaos. Here he comes. Okay. This guy, back to this guy. It's a long little dish. I don't even know what it is for. But again, I was thinking it would be cute as just a catch-all tray. It could be on your vanity. It's narrow. Oh, you guys, Rod just ran by here chasing the dog, Terry Carey. It's narrow and it's gold, which is just great. And it's got a pattern on it. So I thought this was fun. This was only two bucks. You guys, for two bucks, I mean, honestly. Did you text her? It's Thank you, babe. Oh my gosh. Okay, last bag. And then somebody's got to wrap all this up and bring it in. Okay, last bag here. Oh, you guys, this is, see, I wasn't going to buy anything. Here's the story. I wasn't even going to buy anything at the Goodwill because I wasn't finding anything. But then I stumbled upon this adorable piece of silver. So I always manage to find some silver at our Goodwill. This is adorable. And I'm keeping this. And so I thought, well, if I'm buying this, I have to keep shopping. Look at how cute it is. 
you guys tell me. I'm keeping this. Okay, so this one's not coming to the store. But the silver section at my place is usually pretty good. Okay, what else do we have in here? Oh, and then I found these. I have a set of four of these. And we're almost done. Okay, set of four of these. And I actually went in looking for something specific. Um, all right. I got a set of four of these, more milk glass. I thought these would make great candles for our Maker's Day. And the bottom has a cute little star. These are just cute. I hadn't seen this pattern in milk glass. We have a lot of milk glass. I'll tell you a story. You wanna hear a story? One time Vicki and I were out picking and we don't get to pick a lot, but we decided to hit this barn sale. It was called a barn sale. And it was out by her, so I met her. Um, I met her out by her house and we went to this barn sale and we were driving down the street and you guys, it was like single family homes. There was no barn sale. So they had, it was a garage sale. And so they had advertised it as a barn sale to get us there and they got us there. So Vicki and I were like, well, we're already over here. Let's walk up there and see what they have. So we get in this garage and they had boxes and boxes of milk glass and ironstone, correct me if I'm wrong, Vicki, a ton of white glassware and just beautiful things. And so we were there and we were like, oh, we might as well buy it. I think we bought the lady's whole stash that she had in the garage. And God love her, it was the last day of her barn sale. Vicki, I swear we paid like $22 for it. Correct me if I'm wrong. But we snag that stuff whenever we see it because the neutral white milk glass in China, as annoyed as Vicki is when we buy it, it makes such a great display. So this set of four, they might even have been tumblers. You guys might know. They might have been little glasses. These will make great candles, but they'll also make great filler on bookshelves and in displays with just a simple green or simple flower or something. Yes, we were so happy. We talk about that day all the time because we were expecting a barn sale and it was a garage. It was so funny. Okay, and then this is the last thing I got. And I don't know why I got it other than, I don't know, I loved it. It's just a simple silver liquid measuring cup. You could see the measuring in there. And I thought it was cute. I don't know, thought it was adorable. And then they had a whole section of mini trees. Now you guys, if you've been with me on the 12 days of Christmas, you know that my house is a forest. And I had three mini trees in my cart to bring home and then I thought for sure I would get crucified. So all I left with was one of these cute little trees, okay? This little guy. And this is gonna be the 11th day of Christmas. So we're gonna sit here and figure out what kind of vessel we wanna put it in. I kind of thought, as I walked around the store looking for something, that this would be cute, kind of to sit in here. And this could be our 12 day of Christmas little guy. I mean, I would position him in there with a little something to make it um, stay. But I think this, Sam, I know that scalloped bowl, right? I don't know. I usually let Vicki set the prices on stuff like that. Um, my opinion of the matter is that I got it for six bucks. It's a really great piece. We like people to find a deal at our store. So I would price it like around 15, but realistically, I bet it's worth way more than that on Etsy or something like that. So it'll just depend whatever Vicki says. I defer to her. Um, I say that, but then I'll probably argue with her. <laughs> so I think this is gonna be our 12 day of Christmas. You guys like this one? I had tried it in a couple other things. I actually shoved it in here. I thought it was kind of cute in here. Vicki, <laughs> it's gonna be real expensive. Um, I tried it in here, I think it's too small. Um, it would also look cute just on a simple dish. Okay, you could do something like this. Uh, but I think the winner is going to either be Sam, would I ship it to you? Sam, I would ship it to you for like, yeah, of course I would. We could talk about it offline if you really want it. It's really a great piece. Um, right here. So this little guy, and I think it would also look cute in the creamer. So one of these two little options is going to be included in the 12 Days of Christmas giveaway. Um, so keep your eye out. Um, Way too, 
Way to merchandise telling people it's going to be expensive. See, $22,000. Um, I think you guys know if you've shopped at our store, we have some really good prices and fun stuff. So it's not going to be um, crazy expensive because we like to give you a great value. But I thought it'd be fun just to explain to you how what we do thrifting. And um, I just, I don't do it often. <laughs> um, Amy, you can have it twice. <laughs> you can pay my rent for the year. Um, and I, like I said, I hit my Goodwill. I've not had much luck at the Salvation Armies by us, and we do hit the ReStore. Ooh, that's another good story. So last year, Vicki and I went to the ReStore, and we went to, you wish I was in Cleveland. Well, I'm just east of Cleveland, probably 15 minutes. Where are you, Michelle? Um, we went to the ReStore in Eastlake, so if you're around us, it's like maybe 10 minutes past our store to the west is the ReStore in Eastlake. And we had stopped there. We were on a mission just to find some small furniture for a painting class we were doing. So we went into the ReStore. We ended up finding, I think, eight pieces of McCoy pottery. Just beautiful colors of McCoy pottery. Bowls, some planters. And again, Vicki, I don't think it was very expensive, but we just happened to be there at the right time. So I would say the key is just to go as often as you can, dig around, and also keep an open mind, and you have to spend a little time there. So I find, yeah, Michelle, we're just in Menor, so you'll have to come see us. We're in Menor. Um, and we're open this weekend, Michelle, so come see us. Check out our website. All of our hours at, are at schoolhousesalvage.com. So... If you are not used to going to Goodwills and thrift stores, you have to have a little patience. You have to dig around a little bit. Um, the ReStores by us, the Habitat for Humanity ReStores, they're all over near us in Northeast Ohio. Those are good places to go as well. And you just have to keep an open mind and look at things with a different eye and what you could do with them. And just simple, simple things like this totally adorable and you're not spending any kind of money on it. I mean, for $3, you can have an adorable little piece like this. Was it $3? Yeah, $3. Adorable little piece like this and it just makes your home look collected and put together and not so shopped at Target. I mean, I love Target, but it's nice to collect things. Um, so these are the types of things that I look for at a thrift store. These are all of the types of things that you'll find at our store. And if you come to the store and you're overwhelmed and you don't know where to look, let us know and we'll show you the best way to shop our store. I know it sounds weird, but we can show you the best way to shop the store, to make sure you see everything. And if you're looking for specific things, like if you're looking for milk glass, Vicki's got bins of milk glass organized and in one specific location so that you can just go and sort through it. So if you have questions, I mean, we have bins of silver. So if you're looking for this kind of stuff, we have bins of this. So if you get to the store and um, you just want to have an idea of where certain things are, please talk to our staff and our team because we're always, always happy to show you around. It gets a little overwhelming if you've never been there, but we'd love to show you all the nooks and crannies and where to find things. We have a whole shelf of just different pieces of china because I have a china addiction and so Vicki keeps it very organized for me. But there is a definite way to shop the store to find what you're needing. Um, but that's kind of how I do thrifting. If you guys enjoyed it, I'd be happy to do it more often and to show you uh, what we find on camera because it's fun for me. I love this stuff. Um, today was a good haul. Usually I don't find a lot of stuff. One time I found a six foot pink Christmas tree that was a good day. Vicki thought I was crazy, but that made me happy. So I would say go often, find your favorite store, um, and you know, follow along with us and we would be happy to um, show you our hauls from time to time. Um, so this is the 12th, no it's not, it's the 11th day of Christmas. So make sure you like, comment, and share on this video. Sign up for our email list at schoolhousesalvage.com. Go back the other 10 days and like and comment and share on those videos. You'll be entered to win all of the items that we have shown you for the past 12 days. And then go over to Instagram. That's probably my biggest ask of you right now is to head over to Instagram and help me build that account. 
We are really wanting to get as many followers on our Instagram as possible. So even if you don't do Instagram, if you could just do me a super huge favor, hop over there and um, just give us a follow. Encourage your friends to give us a follow. Find the contest post on Instagram and like that one, follow us and um, tag your friends because we're trying to grow that account and it is hard to grow an Instagram account. So if you guys have a moment, that would be huge for me. Um, <laughs> Amy, you're so funny. Um, so yeah, it was fun today. So let me know, we'd be happy to do it some more. I'd love to go spend store money and buy some more thrifted stuff and show you what to do with it, okay? So tomorrow night we're from the shop and it will be our last of the 12 days of Christmas and we will also do our live sale. So um, if you can, usually we try and do it around 5.30 or 6 before I get too, too tired. Um, so join me tomorrow night, we'll wrap it up and then send you away for the holidays, okay? Have a great night, you guys. See you tomorrow.